okay, I realize looking at these things, it's, it, it may appear to be brutal to you. Um, I will say this, though. There are things you could be looking for that might make it a little bit easier. And I, what, I, I'm going to point out what I mean by that. Like if I, you know, and I give, I, there's things I see. I'm not sure they're going to make it any easier for me, but x squared plus 6x plus 1 over x plus 6, and then I'm going to put down minus x minus 6 over 2x squared minus 12x minus 1. And then, you know, certainly on the other side, you get an idea. Now, certainly, I, I'm not going to claim this makes it easier, but if you did this over here, by the way, all I'm doing is looking at these two now. And if you're wondering if I if I success with these two, I'd look at these two then. Or I'd get them on one side and do that. All right? Maybe I should write that down. So that would be 3x squared minus 9x minus 1, x minus 3 minus... I got to jam it in there. 4x squared plus 12x plus 1 over x plus 3. Now, someone says, why would you do that? I'm starting to see these things as conjugates and easier for me to deal with. But here's the deal. It's still going to be a lot of work. But the common denominator here is going to be x squared minus 36. Let me get my eraser out. By the way, I'm not going to go through the work. I'm just pointing out you may want to look for a little variation in the work. And what's over here? This is also a conjugate, x minus 3, x plus 3. It will be x squared minus 9, all right? And then you got to manipulate this. you got to manipulate this thing. It's work, but here's the deal. I did all the work, uh, chicken scratch on paper. And when it dust settled, I was looking at this over here, all right? I was looking at this. So here's your problem. You're looking at this. You're going to do a bunch of work. And I'm hoping you can get this over here. I'm hoping for it. And someone says, well, once you get there, what are you going to do? Believe it or not, I'm not going to use the quadratic formula. That shouldn't be so shocking at this point. Divide both sides by uh, 4. You get 90 over 4. And I'd use the square root method. That's going to be plus or minus. Well, the square root of 4 is 2. And then I got the 90 on top. So it's 9 times 10. Square root of nine, uh, 9 is 3, root 10. And I'm done. That's my answer. All right. Now, someone says, are they problematic numbers? Not at all. The only numbers that would be problematic for me would be minus 6, minus 3, 6, and 3. And that's not that number. So I'm pretty good with that. However, they go on to mention there is another solution to the problem. All right. You might have missed this one. And I understand people missing things but x equals zero is a solution. How do I know that? Plug it in. And it's very similar to what we've done before. But again, it's easy to miss a solution, by the way. You get one-sixth, right, if x is zero. You get one-third. What do you get over here? One-sixth and one-third. Clearly, one-sixth plus one-third is one-sixth plus one-third. So x equals zero is a solution to the problem as well. All right? Again, I, I can't say enough times you know, I know I said a lot here, especially towards the end of the problem set. I'm not spending much time in these problems. I'm kind of yammering on about your responsibilities in working towards these solutions over here. All right? Hang in there, though. I do mean that. Thank you.